So let's get started and let's create our own first custom still life. Before I get started though, I would like to emphasize you're more than welcome to follow along with what I do here, but you should customize whatever you decide to submit for the project. You should not submit an exact copy of any of the samples that have been provided. So in order to get started, you need to move the elements, the containers, and the backgrounds that you would like to use into the student's design folder. I'm going to go ahead and rename that. There we go. By clicking twice on it to my design. So I know that's the one that I'm working on. We can grab a background. I'll grab this blue one and drag it up and drop it into my grouping. Make sure you actually get the grouping. You can double check to make sure that your elements, backgrounds, and containers are contained within your group by collapsing the group. If the layer disappears when you collapse your layer group, then it's part of the layer group. Once I'm done with the background layer, I'm going to go ahead and turn off that group and move on to the container. In this example, I'm going to use the container 3. So I'm going to turn the visibility on on that layer and then drag and drop it into my layer group. And then I want to choose, let's turn the visibility off on the rest of the containers. I want to choose some of the elements to use for the project. So I'm going to grab a couple of the apples. I think three will be good for this example. Maybe we'll do one more. Four. You do not have to use all the elements. If you use less elements, it'll actually be easier in the long run. 